Good afternoon, early evening, everybody. I had a good day at work. I'm, I'm sounding congested or whatnot because my allergies are going wonky today. But it's nothing to keep me from doing my job or doing what I need to do around the house. Everything was going good today until I got home. And certain things happened that I'm not going to talk about or I'm going to try not to talk about. That upset everybody in the house. I was ready to jump up and take action. Mom left it in our hands. Jerry told me she'll deal with it. That's fine. I had to put my, my mind and my body into better usage than getting all hot and bothered by the stupidity and cowardice of this person. The reason why I don't want to talk about it any, any further or too deeply is... I don't want to give them the benefits of getting under somebody's skin. I said it before and I'll say it again. You, you guys can get mad at me and Jerry and the whole nine yards, but leave the rest of my family out of it. They don't know much. Jerry's family probably knows more than my family. Because I keep my issues under control now. And I'm I'm guessing part of the reason why I didn't go out of control, just got a little upset, was my anti-anxiety medication. Now, whether I take, you know, my issue and talk to the doctor about it, that's my choice. I probably will. Just to show how good my medication is working. But I am... I'm just appalled at the fact that another human being can stoop that low. But I will be on the lookout for any information or any more stuff that comes our way. Because it's one thing if you want to ask my mom or send my mom a polite question. She'll either ignore it because the fact is none of it, she'll be like me. It's none of your business. If we wanted to be um, your business, we'd talk about it. Mom doesn't want to because she's not worried about it. And if there's any complaints or any, any messages from mom, it will go through me. Because I ask her from time to time, are you happy? Are you content? What is there, is there something we can do to, to make things better? She understands right now that because we're still trying to rearrange rooms and now with my, me working, it's harder for me to do it, you know, every day. Um... I have some events coming up, um, both medically and family-wise that I'm not going to talk to you guys about because, you know, it's not really your business. I've been trying for the last weekend or two to get my this room done so I can start doing what I want to do. And I've decided... 
what I de- what I decided was if I'm it, whatever I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it. And if there are people out there who don't like it, well, that's not my problem. I've had plenty of viewers and whatnot who stuck with me since the beginning who likes my Bible chats and my historical chats. And basically nobody except for a select handful of people that have already left um, has made any complaints about how I do stuff or what I do. And, you know, that's fine and dandy. I really don't worry about the people at the, at the gossip bakery or whatever it's called anymore. Why? Because they're like a bunch of little children or in some cases like rabid dogs. If you don't feed them what they want to be fed, they turn on you. It's fine. It's fine. Because to me, it's not about the number of viewers or the amount of money I'm making from YouTube. It's the enjoyment of doing what I'm doing. And if other people enjoy it, great. If, other, if there are some people who don't enjoy it, I'm sorry. Like the old saying goes, you can all please some of the people some of the time, but not all the time. So. And who am I, who am I really supposed to be pleasing? Hmm? Who am I really supposed to be pleasing? Myself? My wife? My mom? God? Does it really matter? As long as I'm happy and I know I'm doing good stuff and I'm not trying to tear other people down or, you know, any of that kind of stuff. I don't see anything wrong with my life. I mean, most of my life, most, yeah, the first 14, 13, 14 years of my life, I didn't know nothing about bigotry, racism, the differences in religion. I knew one simple thing. We're all here for a purpose. And in the military, the purpose is to protect this country and protect each other. I, w- I went through basic training, didn't make it all the way through because of health issues, but I w- learned one thing, brotherhood. Doesn't matter how long you were in the military, doesn't even matter if you went to, into the military. If you were the son or the grandson of a military person, you're part of the brotherhood. As long as you're not trying to steal glory or anything like that, you're part of the brotherhood. Mankind, before the Tower of Babel, spoke the same language. We were all considered in a family. We were all considered family. But one person had to mess it up. Yeah, I made, I might have stirred the hornet's nest and gotten everybody, you know, all hyped up because of the fact of my problems with, with Jerry at the time. I was frustrated, tired, annoyed. Done with doing all the extra stuff. Just done, you know, feeling like I'm trapped. We all have that feeling once in a while. There's no shame in it. The shame of the fact that, you know, how I tore into my wife. And you got all these people who love negativity jumping on my bandwagon. But as soon as, as soon, as soon as I woke up and realized that, no, that's not the right way of doing stuff. I started going back to my roots and my origin of my channel and whatnot, people started, you know, bailing out, jumping ship. And that's their choice, not mine. I don't force anybody to stay on my channel. The only, the only things that I ask for out of my viewers or anybody else who's not viewing through YouTube, be respectful of my family. That's all I've ever asked. You got problems with me? That's fine and dandy. Bring, bring them. 
you got problems with Jerry Ann, you can go over there and bring it to her. She's more likely to kick you out faster than I am. But the thing is, you don't drag other people's family into the mix. That's that's a that that's like a sacred no no. And those people who did this, I don't know you guys. You don't know me. You don't know my family. Yeah, you, you wanna you wanna drag my mom into this? For what reason? To try to get under our skins again? No. There's ways of dealing with that. There's ways of dealing with that. And I particularly don't care. Because you're the one doing wrong. And one way or another, you'll get your comeuppance. One way or another, you'll get your comeuppance. And you know, I don't care. I care about my family. What this one person did, not only is that a personal attack on an older woman and a family member, but it just shows you how gutless and depraved you are. I don't care if you guys hit the thumbs up, thumbs down button. I don't care if you put a comment in my in the comment box today. I really don't. You can subscribe. You can get out. If you subscribe, there's a bit bet job that there's a bell for you to hit so you can you know be notified of my next video. Today, I don't care. Do what you guys want to do. Just don't ever bring my mom into this again.